No way! You gotta be kidding me, dude! Are you serious? Joey Yanis, dude, I am giddy about what we're doing today because I thought about it all weekend. I talked to Joey last week. He goes, hey man, I got something really cool for you to check out. They're made for like going in real shallow water. This thing will bounce off rocks two, three inches deep. It's a jet boat, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. jet boat. It's a little, little jet boat. Um, there's a company called Jetstream. I think they're a Canadian company. They, they, built, they build a ton of them. Uh, if you go to Facebook and type in Mini, jo mini jet boat classifieds, you'll see quite a few of them. Yeah. Uh, they range anywhere from 30000 to $80,000. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah they're, this one's kind of compact, right? It looks like it's really maneuverable. Is that right? This one's actually a bigger one. This one's a 14 footer. The, really? the more common ones are like the 10 and 12 footers. Okay. The, the 10 footers are mainly two seaters, and the 12 footers are four seaters. But, uh, they're a lot of fun. You could bounce off rocks, go up rapids. It, yeah, it does handle like a jet ski. You can get to spots of the river that you can't even get to in a tube. It's legal, right, what we're doing here? Yeah, it's legal. As long as the boat's registered and you have as many life jackets on board as you do people on board, um, it's legal. You have to respect the same same laws you do in a lake. If you see somebody swimming, like when you're going through the Lake Mean Campground or the Hart Park Campground, you have to uh, slow down to a no-wake zone you know, for the safety of others. And then after you get past them, you don't see no one swimming, it's considered a lake. You're out of the no wake zone and you can haul ass. Yeah, and you can even like, you said you could ski in here too even, right? Yeah, we've towed the tube. Uh, I got a buddy of mine that's barefooted behind this yeah. thing. Uh, Is it pretty mellow through here? Like I'm, this thing looks like it's flowing pretty good right now, but you're, can I, can I pan this way though and show them that the water was all the way up to your house up there not too long ago, right? Yeah, the water was actually, the, the river's still high right now. Um, considering you know the average height of the river in the 13 years i've lived here but as everybody knows we had a lot of snow melt and a lot of rain so the river actually got about 10 feet from my house so all the way up there that yeah. is crazy where we're standing it was like three feet deep so that that little house thing you have there that was underwater on the bottom yeah you could kind of see the water line when the bottom of the slide right there it's kind of where that's wild the water settled but yeah it went all you the could way slide up. right into the water i know someone here did it <laughs> oh, I'm sure our kids did it. Yeah, it's all like, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Let me show them this thing real quick. Yeah, it's got lights on it. Does that tell me that you actually, this thing can go at night a little bit? Or? So I just put the lights on it a few weeks ago. Um, me and uh, the two kids actually headed up river and waited for it to get dark and drove back home to see how the lights work. They work really good. They light it up <laughs> real good. That's crazy, dude. It's kind of like driving at night. You uh, stuff just looks different you kind of yeah. question yourself where you're at in the river but other than that it, you can see, see real good in front of it it's, yeah. it's super where, fun. where can someone like put their boat in the river uh any do they, any have, public, they have ramps anywhere there's no boat ramps for the river but there's i'm sure there's hundreds of spots down the river just when we were growing up as kids we'd drive yeah. out and find a spot it's, okay. if you can find a spot to drive down you can jet drum. ski on this too right yeah absolutely oh, you can jet ski, yep. that's cool let me show them the interior so this is a four-seater right yeah this is a four-seater yeah that's so cool i like the little like toe spoiler on the back man that looks legit yeah so you have good half inch uh it, this one's got a 3 16 bottom and it has half inch humw plastic okay that actually bolts to the hole and uh that helps you bounce off rocks and not stick them and slide across the rocks and stuff. Yeah. But you can see it. So the hole is made out of, it's not fiberglass. It's actually like no, this a, a whole composite. Boat, this whole boat's aluminum. Aluminum? The whole boat's aluminum. It's got a three. She's seaworthy. Seat. She'll hold up pretty good on hitting things. Oh yeah, dude. We've, we've hit stuff so hard where I was like, I got it. We got to go back put on the trailer. I'm sure there's a hole in it. Get on the trailer and look at it. Like, no, there ain't no hole in it. So yeah. they're, they're built solid as a rock. Dude, that is incredible. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I can't wait. Like I said, I've been excited all weekend thinking about this, and I'm sure it's going to be cool with you behind the wheel, dude. So yeah, it's, it's a good time, dude. We'll let's, go up, let's, we'll find some m mild rapids, and yeah, cruise the river. I love it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Who's, who's riding today? Uh, my name's Chloe Cotton. Okay. Uh, so gonna go ripping the river. All right, and Janelle Yantis. Yep. Of course, we got Joey over here. 
Now, what kind of motor does it have in it? It's got a supercharged Sea Doo jet ski motor in it. It's a 215 horse supercharged jet ski motor. Oh, okay. Awesome. I love this, dude. It's so compact. Like, my arms are hanging out the side. So, when we, uh, when we get going, you're probably not gonna be able to hear. Oh, it's loud. Yes, it's loud. <laughs> so, okay. if we want to talk about it more, there's a couple spots that we could yeah, beach let, and hang out. Yes, I'll let, I'll there's let a you. badass fishing hole that we never knew we found the other day that you can catch. You don't want to give that away, though. You'll huh? have every fisher and their mama out here. Oh, dude. they won't know. They, they won't, won't know. Be they, they won't be able to get to it. Right. We've been we've been doing stuff like this in this river with jet skis for since I've lived here for like 13 years. Really? And prior to that, I've been floating down this river with my dad since I was four years old. Okay. So, so when they have those super like, do they come through here when they have the super two parties or is that down more? That's down more, right? No, the, and every, unfortunately, a lot of good people, but unfortunately, the uh, the only bad thing about living here sometimes is when tubing is very popular, they do go right through here. And this is at the point where they're about 12 beers deep. Oh, really? But most people, I mean, half quarter of them, you know, most people are really respectful and cool, but you have, you get some assholes every once in a while. All right. Fire and hole. Kind of sounds like a jet ski motor. Yeah, we're beached up a little, little high. Ready to rock it? Everybody rock it. I think we're going. We got, we got it. it. This is awesome. So we're gonna go up river. Okay. Right on the other side of this bank, that's Lake Ming. On the other side of that bank? Yeah, 100 yards on the other side of that bank, that's the, the uh, west end of Lake Ming. we run the bills, let it warm up. I was like, we're not taking the water yet, are we? Limits are. So you're like, you're scared. 
bring me a little bit. Come on, dude. Are you on the edge here? No, that's foul. That ain't even close. Okay. I'm just glad you're. I'm just glad you wore your life jacket. <laughs>
here now dude so we have stopped at one of your favorite little it's pretty cool it's like a little island with a lagoon in the back right it's yeah, really cool it's a cool little spot um we actually had another neighbor down river tell us about it uh, it's got pretty good fishing there's nowhere for the fish to get out there's largemouth bass bluegill so this is about five minutes river up my house so we shuttle families up here and hang out let the kids fish there's a safe spot for them to swim and yeah really hang cool out and, so i'm just to be honest like I assumed you knew what you were doing when you were out there because also some of this seems hairball. I don't think they have it in the boating safety guide, like going over land masses. And when you did that, dude, I thought, well, I, I didn't think you were paying attention. I was all like, you know. No, I mean? it, it was done on purpose. I usually spray it with water before I do it, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to give anybody an idea what I was doing, but that one ain't bad. That one's pretty much, you know, six inches above water level, but. And you were saying that this can actually run in really shallow water, right? Yeah, there was a couple spots to the river where we got close to the sides where I know there's rocks and yeah. it's eight, ten inches deep. Sometimes when the river gets low, there's not even no water flow in there. But, you know, uh, one thing I was surprised at is there's some straight up pipes sticking, like it looks like oil filled pipes sticking out of the ground in the middle of the river. And I saw yeah, you could. Yeah, the one thing I could recommend, there's a lot of people I've seen lately since the river's been up taking boats and jet skis. Uh, it's actually been pretty common. Uh, there ain't a day that goes by we don't see somebody drive by on a boat or a jet ski, but. Uh, Fortunately, I've lived on the river for 13 years and I grew up in Oildale, so my dad, this is our swimming pool. And uh, I kind of know the river. I kind of know where those pipes are. We've done it tons. I've done it tons in this boat. I've had this boat for about three years. So you kind of get an idea, but I would recommend if anyone's gonna do it, pay attention. Don't go hauling ass through an area that they don't know or yeah. they're, they're not you know, familiar with. I'll be honest, we went by this one thing. I looked over my shoulder and there was like a granite boulder dude like and i'm like dude that is so close yeah so the trick of the boulders you'll see them sometimes it's deceiving like that boulder we've seen it probably still had six inches of water above it but you can always see them because the water will start curling okay over them so if you see like a sharp curl in the middle of nowhere you know there's a rock so you, you veer away from that yeah. area until you go and check yeah. it out and it's cool to jump with the boat then you jump it with the boat but the one thing i love about this is that i love the way it sounds dude like there's something about it it's got that aluminum clank to it like when it hits every little it's awesome yeah. that might be the oars up in the bow but uh oh okay yeah it still has aluminum clank uh it's got a supercharged 215 horsepower jet ski motor we were going downriver about 45 miles an hour but it's just they're just old beaters dude they're they're fun i mean you're not going to keep one in mint condition unless you just idle down the river but you do the stuff that we do and rail through trees and yeah you know, hydroplane islands and stuff they get beat up so it's fun you, you use them for a couple years they get beat up and then you kind of give it some attention and then use yeah. it for another couple years they're pretty much bulletproof you can do anything you want to them yep. i've owned this boat for maybe a little over two and a half years and never had one issue with it still seaworthy yeah still see what do you do if you break down well if you break down upriver from your house you oar back to your house if you break down downriver from your house, you or to your buddy Brian Watson's house. <laughs> yeah. Is it hard? To, is it hard though to like move the boat to the, like dirt with a? With no. The if you got two people, the boat only weighs twelve hundred pounds. So if you have two people, you could steer it with the current. Oh, you can. Yeah, it'd be pretty gnarly. About a month ago, when the river was up two or three feet higher, because it's moving that much faster. The higher it is, faster it moves. But yeah. Well, I got to tell you, Joey, I've done a lot of stuff with the Motor City Throwdown and Be Tough over the years. And this might top the charts as like some of the most funnest stuff I've done. I did not expect it to be this fun. And I, I'll tell you, dude, thanks for showing me this. I'm sure a lot of people are going to think this is really cool. And if your inbox blows up, don't blame me, dude, because they're going to want to probably know what's going on. But this is so much fun. How really cool, and I hate to use the word special, but how really special the Kern River is, man. You get a new respect for it when you see how powerful this whole thing works. Yeah, the Kern River is awesome. You, you have to have respect for it. I mean, I make sure everybody gets in the boat. I make sure we have life jackets. Uh, we're courteous to the people in the campgrounds. We make sure we don't, there's people swimming there. The last thing anybody wants to do is run anybody over. So we make sure we respect that as a no wake zone, idle through there. Yeah. Uh, most people, super nice, they wave, they think it's super cool. Yeah, they think it's super uh, cool. I saw people taking videos of you yeah. as they're going by. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's really cool. Then you can kind of get past that and then you don't really see nobody. You can just yeah. kind of go and then you go up up river and you get past that you don't you don't see nobody either but yeah yeah very cool fun. thanks for showing us this man very yeah. cool yeah no problem man. all right man this is billy this is joey at yeah. the motor city throwdown